Hallelujah. They say that put the smile into your face. But let me say, do it with love. Hallelujah. When we do it with love, it will be hallelujah. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for the moment like this. And Father, for bringing us together. Lord, I pray for those who are struggling coming. May you, Lord, be with them. And I pray, Lord, let your word be to your people. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, uh, today uh, we are going to hear the word of God. I'm Pastor Noel. I have two, three, uh, six kids, one wife, and my wife, is, her name is Esther Daniel. And that's it about me. But let us go and talk about the most important one, about Jesus. Tell to your neighbor, I love you to be here. For those who are far and you are alone, say to yourself, I love to be here. Yes, today, my sermon will be short. And it will be for the people of God. And for today's ceremony, please be attentive. Uh, my topic of today is, or my message of today is, let love lead. Let love lead. Three L's. Hallelujah. The first L is let. The second L is, and then the third one, don't miss this. Hallelujah. For this, let us see the book, or let us see the first Corinthians chapter 13, verse 13. A treat. And now, these three remain, faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of these is love. That's why I take my message from this. The greatest is love. Why love? Because love is the word normally we can use it daily uses. We can use it monthly uses. Can use it in year round. And without love, it will lead to other different things. But let me say this. Love have a stages. Love have labels. There is a love that you can love your family, your children, your parents. There is love that you can love your friends. There is a love that you can do so, so. But let, there, is, there, there were four stages, but the fourth one is the one I'm going to talk about. In Greek, they call agape, agape love. A-G-A-P-E. That is unconditional love. The love of God. Hallelujah. The love of God. To make it more clear, let us see the same reading, which is the first chapter, uh, first Corinthians chapter 13, but this time I will start from one. And in your time at home, you may read from one, two, and which is 13. In first Corinthians chapter 13, verse one, hallelujah. It says this. If I speak in the tongues of men or angels, but do not have love, I am only a resounding gong. Hallelujah. Do. If I have the gift of prophecy and can pardon all mystery and, and, and knowledge and it. And if I have a faith that can move mountains, but do not have love, I have nothing. And it continue, continue, continue. 
and it continue, continue. They say that if I have become a rich man and I give all of me, my money to the poor, my money to the widow, my money to everything, the gift that I have, give to everybody, but without love, I gain nothing. The Bible says also, when I speak with the tongues of heavenly bodies or heavenly language, which is angel. And you know the language of angel? Maybe you see people, tongues, hallelujah, and so on. Hallelujah. If I speak with that, and I speak with the language of men, they say, I would gain nothing. If I give all of me, even my body become hardship or fall into fire because of love someone, the poor, the widow, the silence, and everyone, they say I gain nothing. Then what is love? I prophesize. I have a faith of moving mountains. Without love, I find myself, they say, I have nothing. Oh, my God. Is it not asking me to be prophesied? And this word, the Bible mentioned, is not for anyone which is not a believer. You cannot find a believer outside there can prophesy. You cannot find how the believer can have a faith to move a mountain. It is speaking to the people of God which is you and me. And because of that love we have in us, that's us, that's why we come together. And that's why we love even our family. And that's why we love to be in the place that there is the word of God. And that is the love we are going to talk about, which is the love, unconditional love. Even though what happened to you, you say, I love you. Even though what happened in the church, you say, I still love my church. Even though what happened around in your family, I still love my family. Within the children and within the family, we still love. And we'll go through those. Hallelujah. Say to your neighbor, let love lead. Loud. Say that, let love. Let love lead. That is my message. Hallelujah. There is, and there is, I will go through, for those who are writing, my first point is one-way love, a one-person loving, and you decide by yourself. And then if you decide by yourself, what will come the consequence of that? Hallelujah. What will be the consequence of that? Let us go to the book of Genesis chapter 2, chapter 22, chapter verse 1. There is a man of God that everyone know about him. And everyone need to be in his place. He is a bank of blessing. He is the man God called him a friend. He is a man that God said to the world will be blessed through him. And his name is Abraham. And then what happened? And through love, don't say that when you love something. You love everything, it will go smooth. There is a test. You will fast through thick and pain. Love, to be loved is not easy. Love will come to the point that even they will separate you from anything that you may have. You have family, you have friends, you have school and everything. But when you fast that test, you will be a winner. As the song was being sung, hallelujah. Let us see Genesis chapter 2, verse 2. If you are all there, let us. Hallelujah. Yes. In Genesis chapter 2, God himself tests Abraham. They say, Abraham. Then he say, here I am in 22.1. In, in, in and then 22.2, he said this. 
Then God said, take your son, your only son, whom you love, Isaac, and go to the region of Maria. Sacrifice him there as a burnt offering. On a mountain, I will show you. You know the, 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 the history of, I, of Abraham. His son is, he got this son after long years. And now he was being tested to go and kill this son. And he was telling to go and do it. And he did it as a one person without telling his wife. And the son is grown up already in around 12 and going on. And if you read further, they say there, the son asked him, asked the father, when they were going to for sacrifice, because the son didn't know what's the meaning of sacrifice. When he asked the father, father or dad, I see everything here. Where is the sacrifice? Father say, which is Abraham, God will provide. Hallelujah. Hold on that word because I'm going to round that word. Hallelujah. Say, God will provide. He took the son and he did as God told him. And he did the test that he was being asked to do. He took this son and made the altar and he took the knife, need to slay or need to kill the boy. And he hear the voice. Say, Abraham, don't kill your son. I know you, you love me. That is the love and condition. I know you love me. Don't kill this son. Then he provides something, which is a sheep for what? Sheep for who? To be killed in place of Abraham. You may he be here, go through test. And you may hear a lot of voices, not of God. And you reach to the point that you love someone to the extent that without that man, I will not be. Without that, without my family, I not move. Without my children, I cannot do anything. Without all, you say that is it. But if you neglect the word of God, if you neglect the sound from God, the voice from God, as Abraham was hearing, and he decided by himself, and he know, Abraham did it. Why? Because he see beyond the son, beyond the family, he know who give, who give, who give him that child. He was being given to him by God, and he know if God tell him, there is better son coming. If whatever you pass through. Whatever you are in anything that you do in your family, to your husband, to your wife, to everything. And you say, that is it. But at the end, that love can be broken. Love can be broke, can be broken, but it can be fixed. Don't fix it because, don't fix it in the way of government. What do what I mean? By, by what? By God. But if you fix it by the way of God, like Abraham did it, he don't know what is going to come after that. What he's going to tell, what he's going to tell he, uh, uh, his wife. And when this child now he was not being killed, what's the outcome of this son? He will against his father. He will hate his father. Father, why do you want to kill me? These are all questions. Father, you didn't, you're going to kill me. Why? But God know, uh, Abraham know, whatever come out from there, even though they reach the point of killing the son, the son, he, the son is still, he will know God will provide. Hallelujah. We may go through everything. Hallelujah. I need to illustrate this because it's very important. Because this one decision, I have one is one decision and a group decision. I will talk about the group decision about love. There's a family who've been for years. And this family, they love each to the extent they make an agreement that I will not leave you. Hallelujah. But we well, you know devil is always after the good things. But when you pass that, that will be in the second or another level. This family, to make a sort, they lose their love. They take one letter out. They take L. How do you pronounce love without L? O-V-E, those who are good in English. 
or V, E, how do you pronounce it? That L is not there. They say that, oh, because we stay long, we don't want to separate, we don't want to do this, but there's the only thing we can do. We'll be in silence without talking to each other. And the husband didn't know. The wife is the one always woke him up to go to work. He's the, those who can sleep maybe 12 hours, maybe eight hours. They're normally sleeping maybe eight or seven. But that, this is the family, some people that which can sleep nine hours, ten hours. And that husband is the one of them. And the wife is always his, what, time or alarm. Then what happened? The, husband, the wife is still holding, but not that. Already they make agreement, no, no sound, no talking. Then the time come for him to go to work. Maybe that's Monday, Tuesday, any time the work. He wrote a letter. He said the time have come. It is now 6.30. And I know you are going to work at 7. And he take the paper and put just near the man in the bed. And then he left it there. He did, his, he did her part, right? He went and put this thing there. And then the man woke up around 12. He is missed to go to work. Then he tried to find oh, what? Then when he found the letter, he kept quiet. He said, Madam, I <laughs> reverse everything. Let us put the L back. And what do you call that with L? L-O-V-E. What do you call it? That's the real love, and that's the love God loved us to the extent sent his son. When I and you was in sin, he sent Jesus to come and save us. Not only in money, the whole world. Abraham know God can do better than the son, better than the wife. Which situation are you going through now? Viewers, which situation are you going through? I know everywhere there is temptation here and there. I know there is even in your own family, you will fall to the temptation. But hold on and love being unconditional love. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There is a time to, I say that, also write down, grouping or people can join together, can make themselves love themselves and against the other side. A and B. B will agree together and against D, B. Or A will agree together and against B. Let us see this. In the book of, hallelujah, in the book of uh, Matthew, Matthew chapter 22, it starts from 27 and you go to the end. It is already in the world. There, there is a group of people always against Jesus. If it's in America, there will be a Democrat and Republican. Always they will not agree. They will agree when they are against some big things that are against them all. And they were against Jesus in anything that they do. And they will against those who are followers of Jesus. And because of that, they agree together. And those group are Pharisees and Sadducees. This group, one of Sadducees who believe that when you die, there is life. But the other one, they believe that no, de no life after death. They were in disagreement. And when they agree together, they will against something. And now they agree together to against who? Jesus. They're against the followers of Jesus. When they come together, let me read the, the first. The, they say that Jesus replied, love the Lord your God. With all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your mind. 28. And, this, and this, they say that, and the second is, that's the, that is the commandment. They give them the commandment because they ask Jesus, which is the biggest and the greatest commandment. Jesus reported them to 27, uh, Matthew chapter 22, verse 27 to 40. Then they begin to give them the, 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 the one of the commandments. They say one of these commandments is, as already I have read, they say what? Love your God with all your heart, with all your mind, 
with all your strength. This is all human being. And then he said that only not that. The second is like the same, it, the one as I told you. They said, this is the first and the greatest commandment. Then 28, 29. Then the second is like it. Love you are never as you are so. If you didn't love yourself, I don't believe you can love your never. If you don't believe yours to come here, you, I think you will not be, you will not be, love, you will not be love, you will not love this church. Or even the first of this church. If you come, you bring your body only to add the number. But if you love to come anything, you have to see, even though you didn't tall, you will fix it as it is. And when it is that way, even love can be seen. You can see the love. You can see the movement of love. You can see what you are doing. Not only you, the others will see. You see what happened, these guys, they, they do? Uh, then they come together. When they come together, in 40, they say this. You have heard that it was said, love your neighbor and hate your enemy. People are still holding on that chapter. This is not my neighbor. This does not belong to my faith that I believe. These are different religions. Even they will talk much about that people. And even you can hate anyone. Opposite of love is hate. You can hate someone. But God, our Lord Jesus said, that love your neighbor as you love yourself. Love your enemy as you love yourself. Even not only that, he said that you can feed your enemy. You can give him food to eat. You can give him drink to drink. Imagine someone yesterday or just now, they kick you, they insult you. They do anything to you, but Jesus said, go and pray for him. Which word will come? What are you going to pray? And you know, our heart is always one, one, one bad thing. If you did a hole in the God way, bad things always pop up, pop up, pop up. Which, which word are you going to put together to pray for your enemy? Or for the woman, the, the husband said, go out from my house. But Jesus said, by the door, they said, hey. I'm going to pray for my husband. Or husband would say, I'm going to pray for my wife. Or kids would say, I'm going to pray, to my, pray for what? For my father. My brothers and sisters. Without the spirit of God, believe me, we, even I cannot pray. But Bible say, in Romans say that, if we don't know how to pray, but by the spirit of God, will allow us to pray. And when the spirit of God, that is a different person, come into you and begin to speak to you the word. They will say, forgive him, forgive her, because he's created, he's in image of God. Hallelujah. These people join together. When they join together, against who? Against the word of God, the son of God, Jesus Christ. And because God is God, and he has unconditional love, and because he loves you and loves me, and love the whole nation, we will not fail to succeed in any test come our way. Say you are never let love live. Once more, say let love live. Don't miss the letter. Hallelujah. Don't add the letter too. But I advise to add S at the end. Hallelujah. Add S at the end that you will love everybody. What do you call it? Love. Let love live. Jesus. Love us to the extent. That he lived the beautiful heaven. And people always love this chapter, John 3, 16. For so God loved the world. They say, guy, because he need to prove that he understand that chapter, he's a mechanic. Anyone bring the car in, he say, I will fix, I will, I will change your oil free. Engine oil. Those who have the car know the car, how to change the engine oil. I will change your engine oil free. 
and the condition that tell me about John 3.16. Some people will make it three times. But at the end, this guy falls to the problem. You are not making word of God for business. You are not selling the word of God because of this. If you need to give someone word of God, talk to him right away. Hallelujah. Without benefit of to your side or to the others. And indeed, you know that place, the place of business, there is a different kind of religion, religions coming there. How could you use that? But I'm telling you, God say, love each other as you love yourself. And don't forget these three elements. Let love lead. You may be in love for so long. And you may be the one always, you need things to be like that. You love them in the way. And then the other side is not the same. If you are too much by yourself in love, sometimes it will break, it will break, it will be broke, it will broke, it will be broken. And if it gets lost, it is hard to bring it unless Jesus Himself can help us. Hallelujah. The last verse, the last to the end, they say this. If you say you love one another with the mouth, is it not the pagan do that? Is it those of the Buddha or other religion doing that? But he say, I say to you, love each other with all your heart, your mind, and your strength. Are you going to do this? And this thing is within you. My brothers and sisters, without your strength, this water that you always drink easy, no strength, you cannot hold that water to drink. Someone can feed you with that strength, with his, with his strength. The mind that we think good, we, that we say that we are smart, when that mind was being disturbed, you will know that really what Jesus say is true. And the heart, for me I say heart is the prayer point. Use your heart for prayer, even though how big our thing you fall through, begin to pray. Because you have your altar within you, your, your heart is a prayer place. We pray it good because we, really Christian, we are happy. I can sit here, I can pray. I can stand moving with you, I can pray because the spirit within me will allow me to pray. And also I can speak. We have that. We are blessed. Finally, John, John 15, 17, very short verse. Put it on the screen. Very short verse and it's strong. What does it say? Well, let us all stand together and read that word. And that's my conclusion. Let us read that word together. This is whose command? To who? Say to me. To me. Let us pray. It is a short message, but love we need. And not only for you, but for others. Who are others? Those who are not sharing the same faith with you. Be and is spreader of the word of God. Be an agent of word of God. Begin to pray within you. Viewers, love each other as you love yourself. Those wherever you are, love yourself, love your neighbor as you love yourself. There is no other commandment bigger than this. Even the laws and the prophets, prophets are all hung, hung on that. 
begin to pray, who is in your heart you take and you be, become your enemy and begin to break your life or your love from God. And God have unconditional love. Use that name, anyone in your heart, try to call them out and God forgive me and forgive them. Let us pray. Father, we thank you. For your mercy, for unconditional love. We thank you because you love us and you send your son, Jesus, to come and die for us. Even though we are still in sin, we, though we are still a sinner, you come and rescue us and redeem us. Father, I submit those who are with me here and with us in the church or those in the online. Let your love lead, my Lord, in their heart, in their family, in their places of work. So they will be a prosper in any time, in any time, in any moment. And I thank you. I honor you in, in the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen.